and welcome to another episode of Matt's Nightmares. And today we are looking at the Lovecraftian and very European, uh, The Sinking City. Uh, this game's been in development for, you know, a good few years now. I got really interested because it's called The Sinking City and usually has uh, some type of Cthulhu imagery in all of its uh, promotional materials. And I was always very interested based on that alone. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is taking a quick look. Um, I'm going to let you all guys know I was provided a, a key for this game uh, by the publisher. I was going to buy it anyway. I was extremely interested in this ever since it was first announced. Um, and we're going to play through the, like, the first, you know, maybe a little section of it. I haven't really decided, uh, but I did want to give... You know, kind of a look at this to see where it stacks up between all the other Lovecraftian games that have released recently and, uh, you know, ever since going all the way back to Call of Cthulhu. Like, what was that, 2004? It's been a while. It's been a while. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you've requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. No scarier state. Turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, Massachusetts, hunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. I love things that are great yet unknown. As luck would have it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person you might uh, you might help you with it, who might help you with it. Prepare yourself and come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I'll meet you here to help you with your bag. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg. Okay, wow, that that's quite a setup, like all of these uh, Lovecraftian games do. There's some mysterious communique, and I have to go to some sort of fucked up place. Oh, okay. That's some Eternal Darkness shit there. Uh, so all I really know about this game is that it was developed by Frogwares, who um, have a pretty prolific developmental history. I think they did this... I actually, I, I don't want to mis uh, misspeak and say what they have or have not developed, but um, I've kind of been aware of them for a while. And they're actually the ones, I do remember this, they're actually the ones that started that recent Call of Cthulhu game. Um, and then they went on to uh, do this. And someone else took up the development reins of Call of Cthulhu. But they still really wanted to make a Lovecraftian game, so uh, they made this. And from what I've seen, it seems a little more interesting than that last Call of Cthulhu game. It's more of an open world sort of thing. Um, you know, like akin to like say Fallout or whatever where you find NPCs, you take up various side quests and such. Um, so yeah, I've been interested on, based on that alone. Holy shit! Where the hell are you? Yo! We're starting off strong! That's concerning! He's like, that's concerning! <laughs> So he's actually underwater, but he's under the water. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, right into right into that old god. Slam into that little bunk bed. So that is our dream sequence, appropriately creepy. Wow, okay, we're starting off. Some machine gun! 1500 XP, one knowledge point around the Charon. That's a little on the nose, but I expect no different. Uh, I did get a lot of the DLC packs uh, with that code, so um, I have, like, starting off with, like, a good chunk of XP and some items. But let's gather things up, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gun. The best thing to uh, take apart an old one. What we got here? Uh, the letter that we read during the loading screen. That's nice. New case for- okay, that actually accepts the mission. Casebook. Let's check that out. Her casebook, alright. Wow, look at all this shit. MIND PALACE! Yo! Casebook, lore, skills. Alright, where we- like, let's just, uh, briefly look. Combat proficiency, vigor, and mind. That seems okay. I have one knowledge point, actually. Mind? Carry up 25 pieces of any crafting material. Can I actually take one of these now? I wouldn't actually mind. Carry seven more pistol rounds. Set traps! There's a lot of shit here. What we got? What, what, what can I actually do? I have to start with, with that, right? Wait, did I just buy it? I think I, I think I just bought that. 
Anyway, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, who knows. Folding camera. Key evidence collected? Ooh, a radial wheel. It's, it's a Tommy gun! The pistol I picked up, a camera. Ooh, I like a camera. First aid. Uh, a throwable, perhaps a brick or a hunk of chocolate. Uh, okay. Hey, I like a picture taking mechanic. Photo of trophy plate. Okay. I guess this is a little tutorial room. Never trust a tourist advertisement. The Monolith National Park. 141 XP just for all evidence collected. Wow, a lot of shit's popping off. Like these movie posters. It's very old timey. <gasps> Curse of the Were Jaguar. Oh, it's this? Oh, searchables. Gunpowder and coil springs. A lot of that shit was hanging around the 1930s. I'm, I'm assuming this is where that takes place. All right, let's go into this wondrous world of Massachusetts. Okay, I wonder if that's the guy that... Probably, but let's talk to you first. Crusty old seaman. Now get out. Oh. All right, sorry. So this has a very distinctive, fi like, uh, feeling At last, already. Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure this high to finally roller. meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh, Johannes Vanderberg. Yeah, I knew it. your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. You uh, did. Much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect Man, that guy is so sullen as shit. Please that looks like a detective hands. that is suffering from mad but visions. Where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Tell me more. Ooh, about my problem. Yeah, you know, uh, what's the deal with the city? It's no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it. And that's not good. Packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont mm. is no ordinary place. Oakmont? It's that's unique, not the scariest sounding position, name for a city, though. A recent natural disaster. Oh yeah, I hate the flood, man. Impossible to reach. So they made it really but hard it. for Master Chief. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Okay, the flood? No, what's my problem? You know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams. So that's usually the source of any protagoni that's in a Lovecraft and adventure. Always fine. They're suffering from visions, or they, or they go to a place for an everyday sort of investigation, and then they suffer the visions, or they just have this feeling that something is not right. And that's always a classic setup, and I don't mind it. Where is this Robert Thorg Morton? Which is not a name. No, absolutely not. Fine, Mr. Thorg. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Okay, I mean, what? What's he like? I need somewhere. I need somewhere I need to stay. Place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest. Ah, the Four Seasons is just There's around this way, Mr. Reed. Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds. Oh, thank dark. you. Don't judge a book by its cover. I haven't seen it yet. How to get to the Devil's Reef? What do you? What? What are you? How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg. I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering. Okay, so you're pretentious. Gotcha. Like moths drawn to a flame. So it won't really have much of a market for philosophy these days. There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. So, while it's still a little early on, I will say that this dialogue seems pretty on point. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drive So, yeah, I think hotel. you have a boat Most or something. I remember foot. seeing it in tr Four Yeah! Foot. I've got the latter sorted for you. Like, There's it's like, like, it's like fucking the Venice or something, where this it's place is so place. flooded, you actually have to take a little boat around. That's, that's a gameplay demo I saw, map. like, months and months ago. Oh, a map, thank you. Goodbye. That's it for now, I think. Thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh. No, no, the pleasure was mine. Don't take my pleasure. Later. Don't worry about that. Don't I'm worry about it, babe. Finds you. Don't worry about that. All right, map. Holy shit. Yeah, no, I wasn't kidding. Open fucking world, this. That's cool. 
I'm already excited by that. So he said he marked some places, City Hall, uh, University, Police Station, The Chronicle, The Strip Club, I like it, The Strip Club, and the Hospital St. Mary, and Oakmont City Port, which is, I guess that, ha, that's me. And that's my boat, I assume. Wow, it's a lot of shit, though. Wow, okay, fast travel points, landmarks, institutions with archives. You are a fucking investigator. It's not mess. Look at all this shit. Follow the omens, mind's eye, retrocognition. All right, we're, we're getting too far. Maybe I can talk to him more. Or not. Man, my guy runs fast. Ew, calamari. Oh! Oh, gross. I didn't mean for that to happen. I mean, I kind of did. I figured it might. All right, well, at least you can get up anywhere. Hello, some weirdos. There's, a, there's again, some fancy smancies over there. Under the kill bar, okay. Hello, are you guys anybody? I don't care about your petty excuses. No one needs uh, the port until my son is found. And why is there like an ape I'm... man here? <clears throat> huh? Uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? Or is he just modeled uh, weird? Whoa! Go away. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Oh, just arrived from um, Boston. I was told you might be able to help. Okay. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can. Is, is this a secret planet of the apes? What happened to your son? Your features are unusual. Um, so his, his son is has is missing. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you? Yeah. What's your angle, outsider? I'm an outsider. So, P.I. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. Well, he's fucked then, this sir. This fool over here says he If you know what type of narrative you're in, and you send someone on a deep sea expedition. He conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. Uh-huh. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete. Malarkey. Malarkey, I, I love it. Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. Yeah, I guess that would happen if you raise someone on bananas. The work of Innsmouthers, mark my what? Words. You you just threw around the term Innsmouthers. How close are we to Innsmouth? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city. What? The police burn his <laughs> mouth to the ground. Now, wow, we're going all in. Migrants occupy Fucking Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes, because we're all in. Port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. Those are all our districts, so I assume. Refugees. <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. Okay, so you're the rich, the fancy pants family of community. this town, and you're just pissed. All right, fire. Community. I mean, simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Not like you, though, Abe Face. What do you know about the visions? What do you know about? The I don't know if I want to say this. You might not I've like heard it. You're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. So everyone's Nothing just really nuts problem, these days. Problem. Everyone's really crazy these days. Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, oh here we go. You. Oh, whoops. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth a ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dream. Okay, well, let's then. Uh, let's see what he's gonna say. Of the question, but. I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud I don't get this. This is this like a new thing in the My Cthulhu mythos, or is it some obscure part I don't know? Where there's like an ape family. All our offspring with these exquisite features. That's weird. Mr. Okay, Throgmorton, I'll find Albert for you. Let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. Find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. You mean me, an outsider? Tend to see things that others miss. 
Yeah, did you see my fucking menu, dude? I got Mind Palace, I got Retro Cognition. Have a point, newcomer. I thought I was an outsider. Vera. So Vera? Did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. Outsider. It is if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Okay, Vera what's Vera? Means fine. I was saying. So why didn't you say fine? I see. Thank you. Alright, we have a deal. So what, what else do you know? To Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? What's well, Dane now? Come on, I can't keep up here. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Okay. Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. Clearly. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see Duddying about. Remember, people, don't duddy. Where's the fisherman's house? Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private. Kay? Guy. We're standing right in front of it. I don't know. I'm an outsider. Where's the lifeboat? lifeboat? Is it still around? Yes. Face the house. Then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. Maybe that's where right I fell there. down into the muck water. Well, I'll be going. Enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton. It's time for me to get. Started. I don't think it's never Find not cloudy and raining here. Comer and be quick about it. I'm a new outsider comer. Wow, evidence. Holy shit. Okay, a lot of stuff. Evidence contains crucial information about what to do and where to go next. Okay, evidence. Interact with objects, people. Combine clues in your mind palace. People thought I was making that term up, but it's very real. Pin evidence on the HUD to keep track of your current goal. Pin evidence place on map. Wow. All right, so we're standing right in front of it. So he said go to the left for the, um, what was it? The lifeboat. There you go. What the fuck is all this? I'd hate to be a guy in this age and have to wear this diving suit. Something with this helmet. Whoa! Gives me chills. What's wrong with it? It's scary. <laughs> Whoa, I got a fisheye lens. I can make a Lovecraft video with my friends. Albert Throgmorton's Throgmorton, sorry. I hope someone finds us. My name is Albert Throgmorton, and this is my will. I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There is unreadable. We should have never done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor Unreadable, I fear, that will become of me. It's singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes, Unreadable. The cycle goes on and on and on and on. Unreadable, in the end it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father, Unreadable. He's here. Okay. I guess the important bit was the will, because I actually picked it up. Maybe I can throw it into, uh, Dr. Zaius's face and ask him what he knows. Hello, I found your son's Mr. will! Morton. I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me! Oh, Give boy, it! What did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. If only. Goodbye! <laughs> that just gave him bad news and fucked off. Alright, so I think he said, what the hell was that? What the- what are you? Stop it, weird thing. Hey, come back. Oh! Oh my god! It's real bad! Oh, photo trophy plate. Trophy plate with strange fish. Looks very lifelike. Ugh. Ooh, bestiary! Oh my god, Throgmorton and Inn's mouth are feud. The Throgmorton and Mouses are in an ongoing feud. This is like a real private eye game, like for realsies. Aw, poor Sharky and George. Ooh, a flashlight. Cool. Music suddenly went away. Oh, okay. All right, fish. See a lot of that. Seems to be a running theme. Remember that fucked up uh, Russian, like, Twitter? account where it's just this like deep sea russian fisherman who just finds the most crazy shit underwater i don't i don't know what his name is but like look it up look up like crazy russian fisherman all right i don't really want to fall off that i'm not sure if i can there's a dude he seems to be occupied thinking about cthulhu Hello? hey can you hear me ah <sighs> oh Oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? 
I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Okay. What happened? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't skimp. Don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside. On. Okay, wow, you're he throwing a lot of people at me. Carrying Thog Morton's son. He was unconscious. Barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and. Okay. My head. Began what is with the. Okay, it must be some other weird up. part of their dialect. After that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they called me. Uh. Hmm. That sounds familiar. The visions. Tell Who me are you? Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live yeah, it seems to be. Me, you know, with all those dead Paul, fish in the background, and everyone's a fisherman. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the rail. You moved here the after the flood, animals. okay? I started fishing. That or starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Oh, uh, okay. Him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got So, to. So, so Albert went words. nuts. And we don't know where, where Albert is. What Do happened to Paul? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... Gone. Kay, have mercy. mercy. Kay must be like their god or something. Yeah, I've gotta go. I have no time. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? I don't know. Kay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Yeah, you know, aren't we all? Uh, just continually clutch your head in pain and anguish. I gotta go. All right, there, there's, there's Paul. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. We got jacked up. He was being some wipeouts called. in this game. Am I going crazy already? Jeez, it's early. Whoa, that's a weird effect. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Probably out this hole. Holy shit. I don't like that. So I see I have two meters, like a blood meter and like a blue one. I'm not sure which one of those uh, is which. Do I have sanity? I'm not sure. Ooh, I can actually see a bit of my reflection. It's spooky, but it's there. Uh, I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Is it like a dartboard? Yeah, or a knife board. Mind's eye. Press down to activate the mind's eye. Huh? Oh! Hello. Hold. What the? Okay, this must be when Albert had his freak out. So wait, I'm like a precog? Recognition cognition allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Inspect enough evidence on the scene and, and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Holy shit. Man, this does have a lot of similarities with Call of Cthulhu. I mean, it's not surprising, but still. Oh, wow. Never seen knives like this before. Master for work. It's okay. I mean, it's not that great. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Let's just hope that's alcohol, not like fish pee. What the fuck is good lord? What's happening here? Lovecraftian Borealis. Lo Lovecraftian Borealis. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Fucking weird. All right, so I have to piece together what happened here. This is the bed. I think. Whoa. What's happening? So he lifted off the bed, started doing the Cthulhu speak. Take this, ape face. <laughs> wow, Donkey Kong was throwing a barrel over here. They didn't like it. This guy shot it at Albert, I guess. These people don't seem to understand the Lovecraftian Borealis. They hear it? Yeah, Whoa. 
Let's see what we have here. This seems like it was first, obviously. And I guess it's in this order that I found them. Two. When Albert Throckmorton oh. woke up, he was not himself. Yeah, nailed he it. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Out the door. Whoa. New Mind Palace clue, new Mind Palace clue. Okay, wait, let's let's check out Mind Palace. Hold on. All right, that's first. Then he attacked the fisherman. Yes. Okay, so that's a piece of evidence. Uh, it was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. All right, so that's like a piece. Okay. I'll return unstable, then sudden psychotic outbreak. All right, that's another one. Uh, spread some of sort of psychic influence. So whatever he found in the depths of the ocean... I uh, kind of brought it back with him. Interesting. Um, Albert fled when wounded. All right, Lewis shot without warning, then Albert fled when wounded. No. Okay, whoops. Okay, the Throgmorns and Inzos are in an ongoing feud. Yeah. All right, I can track down Albert. Albert the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the find the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense, so he knows about it. Follow the omens for more information. Mind's eye can reveal omens that guide your way. Holy shit. You mean like Killer Instinct? Whoa! Oh, wow. Okay. So I can actually follow the trail of the craziness. Man, it's almost a little bit like Deadly Premonition, the way this is set up. Okay, this this way more. Which which way? Oh, shit. Thank you. Thank you, omens. And then, then this way. All right. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm good. Oh, wow. That fucks up. You can't use that too much. Warehouse. Uh, I gotta wait for this to resettle. Okay. Thank God. Man, those must be sanity effects. There's something in the pocket. I got something in my pocket for you. Lewis, please give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. All because of the flood. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping around the port. But don't worry, I've stuck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll turn everything with double interest to Peter. Gunpowder times two? Awesome. Disgusting barrels, also very cool. Uh, padlocks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. Hey, wow. Holy shit, okay. All right, hold on before I get up all in the, up in that business. What was that? Ah! What, what, what? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Uh. Holy crap. Uh, hello? Weird hands, cousin it? Did that get added to my bestiary? No, it didn't. Maybe I needed to take a picture of it while I was alive. Where did that come from? I guess from that room with the dead body. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, it melted away. So is this Albert? Let me, let me see. Yeah, look, okay, look, has that distinctive Throgmorton face. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Hmm. Your mind palace. Albert was murdered. Oh, I don't like this. Very scary, this. All evidence collected. Thank you. There's another one. Can I not take a picture of this? All right, back to mind palace. Albert was murdered. I mean, this is safe to assume. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. I guess. So you have all these pieces of evidence, and I guess this will, like, go towards solving the case by itself, which is, like, cool. Lewis left the crime scene, and some other fishermen probably killed Albert, left the site of the murder. Albert was murdered, and then he left the crime scene. No? Okay. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Mmm, actually, maybe that has to do with the feud. Yes, it does. As an insmouther, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. That could be a reason to hate him. Fair enough. Yes, Lewis may be at the bar. Lewis, the insmouther that killed Albert Throgmorton, may be hiding at the bar. Yeah, because if he owes him a favor, why wouldn't he, uh, like, uh, Albert was murdered. All right, so then I'll be looking for the ultimate reason for that. Man, this is pretty cool. Like, this is already way more elaborate than the actual Call of Cthulhu game where, I mean... You know, while not bad, it was just a simple um, One stealth game. Not much to it, unfortunately. I don't think I went up here. Plus, there was an upstairs. Oh, yeah, this is that place that went to nowhere. I don't even know. Maybe this is a door that's supposed to open, but there was actually an upstairs to this place. I'd like to know what the fuck attacked me. This guy seems pretty nonplussed. That's weird. Okay, it goes nowhere. All right, well, 
I guess I solved that. And I go ta taco, talk to Donkey Kong about this. Whoa, that's awesome. Who commissioned this? Troy McClure? Man, this place is a fucking shithole. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Hey, your son was murdered. I've seen some strange shit. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah. No, oh, no. Your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No. But no, why not? No. I don't believe it. No. Sorry, dude. But I'm gonna take a crib from a Naruto and say believe it. My condolences, Mr. Thornmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences yeah. will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilled for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Yeah, it sucks that Donkey Tell Kong Jr. is Lord dead. Did it. I want to look uh, in his eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Mm, I can't be sure yet, but I'm pretty sure it was Lewis. Seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after I am a private house. eye, so I guess Lewis I got a private eye. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an insmouther. Yeah. Uh -oh. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dare. It's always good to rue the day. I think everyone needs to rue the day a little bit. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. Well, we'll see. Uh, I've seen some strange Mr. shit. I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm so Pardon? surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. Oh, I've this is a known them, thing. But we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to Yeah, I, I noticed yeah. that. I like that yeah. Hand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't keep your weapons handy. So, you just overrun with bullshit? You guys are all- okay. Uh, so, I guess Lewis is at the bar. How do I get my bestiary going? I want to know about what the fuck these are. They're weird cats? I don't know, I'm not a fan of that. Whoa, anything down here? Anything creepy? And tentacle-like? No, I can't, I guess. Oh, bar under the keel. I guess that's it. Look this weird fuck hut. Oh, hello, sir. Under the kill, 36 XP, just for finding this place. You seem like you're, you fit in this universe. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Okay, old Billy. You look familiar. Okay. But old Billy hasn't seen you Old around. Billy. Wow. There's always a bar, isn't there? Hello. Ugh, I'll miss the Carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Nah, yeah, miss the Carpenter's food, it's crazy. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Oh, I love the OSW reviews. I think I was a bit Scottish, but oh, whoops. Sorry. What about you, bartender? To under the keel. What wow. Do what do you want? Uh, I need to find Lewis Flynn. I've seen some unsettling shit, and goodbye. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew. I don't rat to newcomers. Oh, outsiders! You want him gone, I can help. You're harboring a criminal. Now, it said that, like, Lewis is owed money from the As bar happens, guy? I know you owe a debt to Mr. There you go. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he Ooh. will be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Truck. That was Truck. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you will. soon. So he's upstairs. Here's the key. Holy shit! Okay, thanks. I promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Uh, yeah, I don't need to talk about the unsettling creatures, I don't think.
We already kind of know about that. Uh, so he's upstairs. That was actually super easy. What the? What get the, the? Get the? Oh. oh. And you just have nothing, sir. Okay. You know, a lot of you, I know there was a flood, but maybe you guys should, uh, should, should clean. What about my mind's eye or whatever? Nothing. Hey, who are you? What are you Jesus. doing? Jesus! Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. Wow. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm that down. is an ant's fucking mouther. For now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. God. How did it all happen? You killed Albert. Why? What's wrong with your face? Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told them that it would only... I, can't, I don't know if I can handle so this. Me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that... Jesus, man, house. I don't... He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. That's convenient. You killed him, though. To kill. No I used my retrocognition, justice. sir. He pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke... It was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. Hmm. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. So that doesn't sound no good. What happened though, I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. So there's an ape versus fish war in this town. Why do you look like that? Uh, your actions look deliberate. Don't look like a bloody rage. A yeah, that's head, true. A hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Yeah, so does that happens. Uh, why do you people hate the Throgmorton? There's a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmorton's. Yeah. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always okay. conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd but it's like, the, the like apes himself. have, like, the moral high ground on the fish? What's a grand family? A grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Yeah, or an outsider. A newcomer with a gun. Oh, Answer shit. the question. Okay. My guy looks like he's always falling asleep. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition. Yeah, I got that. Real Head bang of bloodlines and tradition uh, of this There's place. The carpenters who control most of the city's underworld, the Blackwoods who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And oh, well, sh uh, that's guess. why I guess they that's hoarded the them. Right, those filthy mm. apes. Now that most of the black damn are dirty gone, apes. There's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. Yeah, you need a champion. I've heard enough. I don't even think I need to ask him why he looks like that. I, think I don't I think he'll like that. Please, Mr. Reeve. Whoa! Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm mm. in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Family, family, family. I'll this think about it. Exactly cut Just dry. think about it. I need some time to think. You'll Perhaps get it. Th 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 think, about it. think about it. Think about. Think about. Think about. Think about. Still think have about. a few bullets on me. Uh. It sure. Turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. 
Here you are, Mr. Reed. See, I believe this guy, so I'm not gonna, like, fuck him over, I don't think. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. God, you're gross. Uh, alright, let's look at Mind Palace. <laughs> Alvin was murdered, Lewis was affected by hysteria. Alright. Lewis was aware that what he was doing during the fight with Albert Elmer and Lewis was mentally affected and couldn't entirely control his actions. Lewis was under mental influence. Lewis killed Abathar Mornwell under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him or else Robert will have his head. That's neat the way that the evidence like uh, connects like that. Um, okay, I guess I'll go back to Dr. Zayas and I think I'll keep his secret. What the? Get the... Get the... Oh, but what am I gonna say? I don't know. Like, like you skipped town. Who come, are you? Come closer, troubled soul. You're you're not modeled very well as who you are. Jeez. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller. Yes, my dear. Mm. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Seems a little Nonsense. Generic, don't you think? <laughs> mm. Calling her out. I see many things, boy. No, no not for a small fee. Detail. For a small fee. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. So the flood mm, just stopped money from being a thing, I you. guess. I don't smoke. Should the Massachusetts the Oh it's no, no thanks. Maybe. As you wish. I gotta tell Donkey Kong that his son's murderer just got off scot free. Oh, what's this? Grimhaven Bay? Oh, uh, I can't go there yet, huh? The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmore. Alright, alright, alright. Sorry. Alright, hey, what's up? The murderer's dead lie. The murderer's at the bar. I'm big I lies. The murderer down, but he was attacked by those. Ah! Was probably the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouth or fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beast. Are you certain the body is here? Uh, yeah. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. Right. jacket. Ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Ah, oh, well, you win some, you lose pets. some. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Yeah, 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 you know now. Cool, Thank cool. You. Mr. Throg Morton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I need help. You've earned it. Okay to think a newcomer barely off the Yeah, board. see us newcomers slash outsiders ain't ain't all that bad. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I'm trying to find the source of my visions. I'm investigating cases of insanity. I think it I, I think I wanna go with this. I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throckmorton. I see it. And even so, I was able to solve the case that even Scooby Doo couldn't solve. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the So, like, Cthulhu, like, jacked off a bit into the, the ocean, and then the ocean splashed on the city. And I'm assuming that's why everyone's going crazy, because of the insanity Cthulhu, uh, cummy shots. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Okay. And Professor Doe, the Professor Doe. complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant drowned streets. And a voice calling from the depths. All the makings Our of a good Saturday exactly. night. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Why a geological expedition? Geological expedition. I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. Yeah, that's fair to say. As so above, so below. Nice. You think the flood is natural? You mentioned uh, I don't know. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied yeah, no, it's the Cthulhu Jackoff session. 
Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. <laughs> not a single Albert piece of shit was found. Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? I don't know. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? Not really. No news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Maybe. What Let's talk expenses? payment. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. Oh, course, okay. You've earned some compensation for your work here at the Ooh. Port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. So uh, yeah, money's not a thing. The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than beer. I guess with all these monsters around, that I makes sense. To look into this. I'll need to know more. Where should I go? Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. Everyone's everyone's really frugal with keys. Clear, Reed. Uh oh. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Thor. Gomeno, sorry. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I found you. Well, you're very busy. You've been standing out in the rain for like the last hour. Albert, when you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Mark it on my map, please. Throghorn Manor. Okay. I don't see no old grove. There it is. Throghorn Manor. Okay. I need to go to the expedition. There's just somewhere. It's a northern cover side at the crossroad of Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. Cover side. Cover side at the, the, the thing of the cross section of the thing. God damn it. What street? Asher Road. And, uh, Asher Road. Damn it. Where's Hubert at? Hubert? Where you at? Hu there it is. It's Asher Road and Hubert. Cool. So we're right there. Danger. That's where I want to go. That's danger. I pressed the danger mark on that. <laughs> Case complete. I finished Frosty Welcome. So I'd say with that, uh, we'll, we'll investigate the, uh, expedition a little bit. Uh, but that was a really solid first section. There's a lot going on here. All right, so those guys fucked off the popo from Grimhaven Grim Bay, so I can fucking uh, finally find my boat. Oh, what was that? That was kind of creepy. Saw a guy off there in the distance. Uh-oh. What? That's weird. No, America. D uh. What is all this then? My hat. Wow, warped me all the way to the hotel. That's kind of cool. Ooh, costume unlocked. Daywear costumes, eh? Thank you. Alcohol, shell casings, coil springs, core deck, gunpowder, metal scrap, and rags. My favorite things in the world. Wow, newcomer. Wink. Oh, oh shit. That's awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, I am fine with Wincoat. Yeah! I'll get that gangster lean, son! That's cool. I had no idea there was even, like, a wardrobe section in the game. No, 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 I know I'm good. What you got? What you got? Oh, so you must get this if you do help out uh, Lewis Flynn. You're a rare example of a man who treated one of my kind hu humanely, and I feel I have to repay the debt to you. Take this as a friendly piece of uh, advice. Run! Save your life and leave this drock city to the depths. Don't dig into its secrets, for they are not worth it. There is nothing good left here. I believe you can find a way to escape. Please heed my words, Lewis Flynn. Thanks. Okay, thanks for letting me know. You brought me uh, to... Uh, 
<laughs> of my hotel because I was unconscious. Please take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. All right. Wow, I'm really digging this so far, Makes actually. This place feel more like home. I miss Boston. Wow, I got a nameplate and everything. That's crazy. Finally. You're awake. Whoa. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Uh, sorry. What noise? What? What noise? I have very, about? very erotic dreams, sir. I guess to be respectable, moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops. All right. Sorry. I didn't do anything. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll. I'll, do I'll just best. go, Menno. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well. Next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. Oh. Exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. Yeah, not at all like the fish and ape people that are here. Books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is like. So I'm not the first stove. guy to come here, like looking I for answers. It. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Oh, wait, I'm just going to well, get a bunch fine, of evidence. Fine. Take what you wish. About the Cthulhu come storm. Letters, shit, there's terrible fetus. <laughs> Disgusting exaltation. Oh my god, there's so much lore. New fast travel point. Cool, cool, cool. So, I needed to go. Uh, here to danger. So yeah, it's not quite flooded yet, so I can just walk there. Or it is extremely flooded. Yay! Oh shit! Got my boat. Gonna fight Cthulhu. It's getting dark. Darker than normal. Or never mind, it's getting to be sunlight out, which is nice. So there's a day-night cycle, huh? So hopefully I can dock here. Yes, I can. Nice. Oh, hello. Wow, there's tons of people all over. Hello. Nothing? Okay, cool. You got nothing? You're you're very dirty. Everyone's very Wow, look at all this. Holy crap. Okay, I gotta go to the investigation area, so straight down here. So this should be it. Alright, the harmonica man again. I saw you earlier. Maybe it's this little area. You, you're just, you're just, okay. All right, let me know if you need anything. All right, so I'm right at the corner, so I don't know if I'm, there's a particular house or something I need to go into. Let's try this, because it has one of these things on the door. Whoa, maybe this is it. Expedition headquarters, found it. Guess I don't need the key. <laughs> Big ass boot mark though. A little concerning. Uh, divers with the bends can suffer. I hate the bends, not a fan of it. There's no one here though. Let's try this. Steal some shit from the expedition. One pistol round. Oh, wow, okay. This place is jacked up. Oh, that can't be good. Uh oh. Samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. Oh. Uh, fisherman reports. Okay. It's 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 getting rough out there. What the Oh my god, I should maybe uh maybe I can't stay in that vision mode for too long. Holy shit, I was going crazy just by being in that. So I guess since that place is all messed up, I should uh, tell Throgmorton that 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 the place is all messed up. All right, we're gonna putt 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 over to uh, Donkey Kong's manor and uh, give him the bad news. I guess this is it. Just a big, what a mansion right here. It's like, really? That's, that's King Kong? That's your, uh, patron saint? I guess it makes sense. Uh, oh, wow, okay. I, I guess the, the funeral is today. In loving memory, Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton and descendant of the robust bloodline, died on Thursday at Oakmont Port, age 25 years. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life, eating bananas. I'll steal it. Hi. Hey, I'm not what's in the up? mood for chit chat, Mr. Reed. Oh, I guess I don't really have a report to give because I didn't find out anything. Man, being a private eye is hard. Okay, I think that was a pretty good look at the sinking city. Man, am I like really into this? I am down. Uh, seems really interesting. A lot more of a game than that uh, Call of Cthulhu game was. 
uh, from the last year, I think. Uh, this this just has way more going on to it, and yeah, it's it's got it's got some graphical issues, little bits and bobs like that, but the core is definitely there. There's there's something about it that you know gives me that old timey feeling of of games from back in the day with a smattering of the new stuff. But um, yeah, I think this is out today. Um, again, thanks to the publisher for giving me an early code. Um, like I said before, I, I had plans to uh, buy it because um, I don't think it's exactly full priced. I think it may be slightly below the the normal price for a full game, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, uh, seems really cool, and I hope this all didn't make you go mad on this episode of Matt's Nightmares.